Hillary Clinton is in Northern Ireland on one of her last trips as U.S. Secretary of State. Take you live to Washington now and talk about her legacy. Uh, is U.S. foreign policy expert Susan Eisenhower. Susan, good afternoon. Hillary Clinton in Northern Ireland, um, her and her husband, part of the peace process. Uh, how important is Northern Ireland, firstly, to her? I think it's very important to her. Um, I know that it was a, a big achievement of the Clinton administration uh, to uh, engage in that part of the, of the world, and I think that Hillary Clinton uh, has taken a, a very big interest in this issue for a long time. She's coming to the end of her stint, as I said, as Secretary of State. What do you think her legacy will be in that role? Well, I think, uh, first of all, she's the most traveled Secretary of State in history. She's clocked more than uh, a million miles, which seems just incredible. Uh, and she's visited more than 100 countries, which uh, means that she's really taken uh, the overall mission to change America's image in the world very seriously. Uh, at the same time, she's uh, been at the, the helm during a very uh, difficult time internationally. Uh, the financial crisis has put many societies under uh, enormous stress. Uh, and at the same time, there um, have been disturbances uh, and revolutions uh, in, all, in many parts of the world. Uh, she's uh, managed those. Uh, she's been there when it counted. and. Uh, I think this is the way she's going to be remembered. Lauren, if I could just add at this point yeah. uh, that I think it's also very important what she's undertaking right now with respect to Syria. Syria, yes, uh, obviously an ongoing uh, crisis there. Are, are there those, though, Susan, that feel that she perhaps could have done more, put a bit more effort into the Middle East crisis? Well, I think uh, we're in the middle of historic change in the Middle East. And I think that she has, she's done a lot already, but this is really a, a management issue. Uh, at the same time, uh, we're trying very hard to find out uh, who, who will come to power under um, certain circumstances. This is uh, certainly related to all of the countries in, in the Middle East during these revolutions. Uh, I, think, uh, I think that she's going to be given fairly high marks for that, but if she can find a breakthrough with the Russians over Syria, I think that will end any debate about her role in the Middle East. Yeah, we'll see, won't we, over the next few days or weeks. Susan, one final question. Uh, you know her quite well. Do you expect she'll run for a presidential nomination? Well, first of all, let me just say, I think another part of her legacy uh, also connects with that question, which is she's been tireless. Uh, she recruited me to be co-chairman with her of Save America's Treasures, and I watched the way uh, she poured herself into that role while she was first lady. Uh, she distinguished herself as senator. She's now been a very effective secretary of state. And she's clearly going to do something else important uh, before she uh, fully retires. So I think uh, there's a real possibility, especially if she can uh, bring about some kind of um, uh, agreement on Syria. I think uh, she would be uh, a very effective candidate for the Democrats. Interesting. Susan Eisenhower, pleasure. Thank you. Nice to see you.